So, um, my name is Kevin Reed, and recently I've gotten, I've taken up a kind of odd hobby, and it's uh, tattooing myself. I really enjoy tattoos. I think they're beautiful and very artistic and show a lot about a person. And very recently, about actually last year, I had a friend who told me about uh, stick and poke tattoos. Very easy and manageable, like all the supplies are really cheap. Besides the fact that you're giving yourself a little scar, I mean, there's, it's not that harmful or dangerous. So I've thought about it for like a really long time. And I mean, I always said I was going to do it, but I never really made the effort. I think it was about a week previous that I actually went and got the stuff. So it was just like sitting on my desk, just like looking at me saying like, hey, Kevin, tattoo me. So I uh, decided to just do it one night and the process is pretty simple. I mean, you take a sewing needle. You can't use a sewing machine needle because they're like a little bit more dull because they're used by a machine. So you have to get like an actual sewing needle and you stick it into the end of a pencil and that like kind of like serves as your gun for you to hold. And then you take like, I don't know, like a bottle cap or something to put ink in and you use uh, this special kind of ink. It's actually for calligraphy, but it's called India ink. It's basically just tattoo ink with a different name. It's cheaper. Tattoo ink's more expensive when you like actually buy the name brand stuff. First, you have to shave your, the area of your leg, or I mean, I do it on my leg, but you have to shave the area of your body where you're doing because you don't want like hairs to interfere with what you're doing. And then um, you have to, after that, you know, like wipe it down with rubbing alcohol. You know, it's nice to wipe the needle with rubbing alcohol. Don't burn it. That actually makes the needle more. I put like bacteria or something on it. And then you take the little, your little tattoo gun that you've made and you dip it in the ink and you have a stencil drawn on where you want it to do, want to do it and you just start poking. It takes like a long time because you have to keep dipping it in ink and you also are kind of like blinded by the ink on your skin so you kind of just have to feel it out and like hope you're putting it like those dots in the right spot. I mean like one little stray dot doesn't really look bad it's just like if you accidentally put like maybe I'd say 20 or 25 stray dots in an area that you're not supposed to, it's going to start showing up. Because like the process of it is, is like you're just literally giving yourself little piercings, not even that deep, probably just like a millimeter or so deep in your skin. It doesn't even honestly hurt that bad. And what you're doing is you're just like, get put, when you put that in there, it's just like it leaves a little bit of the ink in there. And you just keep doing it in the spot and it concentrates and makes a picture.